Welcome to another video. This is an integration problem that looks daunting and the question is, is this a tough question? And the answer is no. So um, a lesson I want you to learn is this. If a problem looks incredibly difficult, it looks, it does not mean it is, and the fact that you didn't figure out how to deal with it from the beginning just by looking at it does not mean that when you start solving it, it's going to be super difficult. This is a very, very easy integral, but you just have to use what you know to get what you need to know. Always use what you have. So what do we know? I'm going to look at the problem and go, yeah, this is crazy, but I see a bunch of cosine x's everywhere. That should be my u. I don't want to have too many cosine x's, so I'm going to make cosine x my u um, and then see what happens at the end of the day. And that's exactly what I did when I saw this, and it didn't take long before I got the answer. So let's get into the video. So first of all, there is this simplification I would like to do, which is to get rid of this plus one, because I know that cosine x raised to power this will be this to this power times cosine x, but cosine x times tan x is sine x. So that way, I know I have taken care of two um, terms or two uh, parts of the expression that I can multiply to give me just one thing, and the derivative of cosine x is sine x, which might be something I would need eventually. So, let's do that first. We're going to say that this is equal to the integral of cosine x raised to power cosine x times cosine x. So I've rewritten this expression as this, because that's what it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply by tan x, and then multiplied by 1 plus the logarithm of cosine x. Okay, crazy dx. Something like that. Now, what do we do with this? I know that cosine x times tan x is going to be sine x. So, let's bring this together. This will become sine x. So, I have 1 plus the logarithm of cosine x. Let's put this this way. Maybe I should have added one more parenthesis here. Okay, and you have dx. And here, I have this to be the integral of cosine x raised to cosine x. So that's what I have. Now I can do my u substitution, saying that my u is cosine x. Or oh, one more thing. Let me move the sine x here, so you can see exactly what the u substitution is going to do. So, one more. Um, just to make it easier to see, I'm going to have cosine x raised to cosine x times 1 plus the logarithm of cosine x. Okay, let's use... Am I writing log? Okay. Remember that this log is... You can write it as ln. Maybe I should change it or leave it. This is how it was written, so I'm just going to leave it, okay? And this is going to be... Then I move the sine x here, sine x dx. Okay, so here let's say let u be equal to the cosine of x. So... du equals sine x dx. So you can see that this can replace this, and we can go on and say that the integral we have, let's start writing. This is u to the u, since u is cosine x, so it's going to be u to the u times 1 plus the logarithm of u multiplied by o, du. Ha, ha, ha. You see how smooth this is? This is all the work you got to do. Because as soon as I made the substitution and saw this, I knew the answer straight away. 
And then I went back to my channel and quickly checked if I had done the derivative of this before. And I noticed that I never made a video about it, but this is the derivative of this. So by the way, the answer is u to the u, where your u is cosine x plus c, that's it. But let's assume you didn't see this, you didn't know what this was gonna be. What should you make as your u? So we're doing a t substitution now because now we don't know how to integrate this. What I recommend in this case, not use change of variable because I've already used you, okay? So what I would say is, this is the focus because I know from experience, this is where experience might be an advantage, okay? Because I know this is the derivative of u to the u, okay? So what I'm gonna say is, let t be equal to u to the u. Now I'm supposed to differentiate both sides, but this is not easy to differentiate just like that, okay? We can't bring down the u and say, we can apply the power rule. So we're gonna say, uh, what we're gonna do is take the natural log of both sides. So we're gonna take the log of t, since I'm using log and not natural log, I'm gonna stick to log, okay? It's, I could do ln. So it's gonna be u log u, okay? So now we're assuming I'm taking base e. Okay, now, what do we have here? If I take the derivative of this, it's gonna be t prime over t. That's how you differentiate a natural log function. Don't forget the base is e. I just don't wanna keep writing base e. Let me just write it for all of them. Okay, so remember when you take the derivative of a, of a natural log function, it's whatever is inside, the derivative of what's inside over what's inside, which is I just, what I just did now. Okay, now this would be equal to, if you differentiate this, what do you get? You're gonna get, applying the product rule, you keep the first, you differentiate the second. If I differentiate ln of u, I get one over u, plus you differentiate the first and you keep the second, which is ln of u, which I'm writing as log of e. Okay, log base e. Well, if we clean this up, this is gonna be one plus log base e of u. That's what we get on this side. And here we have um, t prime over t. Well, I can write t prime and multiply both sides by t. Let me put the t here. So this is the answer, okay? And remember that t prime is what we call dt du in this case, which is equal to, what do we get? dt du will be equal to this, and I can move the du to this side, so that this t, I can write it back as u prime, so this is gonna be u to the u, times one plus log to base e of u multiplied by du. So that's essentially what this would be, if I remove my du from here, and all I have here is just dt. So as you can see from experience, if, you, if this was a competition, you already know that the derivative of this, I mean the integral of this expression du is just u to the u. And that's what we're gonna do here because now when I go back, I know that this whole expression is dt. So this is equal to the integral of dt, which is equal to t plus c. But what did we say t was? t is u to the u, which is u to the u plus c, which is equal to what was u from the beginning? This whole thing was about x. We said u was cosine x. So our answer is cosine x raised to power cosine x plus c. You could have done this any other way you understand, but this was very obvious and easy to do. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.